Hi everyone and welcome to the first Serap Horror Festival Ceremony Award. Yay! Finally here, the video we have all been waiting for. Uh, of course, I want to thank anyone who submitted their movie. So thank you, everyone. It has been a pleasure viewing all of your submissions. And of course, not only the movie, but also trailers and screenplays. Yes, so I have been enjoying myself watching all of your submissions and reading all of your scripts and watching all of your trailers. So thank you so much for that. And congratulations to everyone that got selected and nominated. So the first category that I'm going to go through are the uh, scripts. So we will start with the nominees for best micro screenplay. And the nominees are Sarah by Jeffrey Gould and Abandoned by Mar Mariah Drew. Okay, okay, let's see. And the winner is, dum, 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 dum. winner for best micro short screenplay is, or goes to, Sarah by Jeffrey Gold. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, moving on with the nominees for the short screenplays. So, the nominees for best short screenplay are The Cringe by J. Jesse Arbitua, The Freezer by Martin Keaty, a Walk Down the Nocturnal Road by Diego Olivares, a Zadok and Innsmouth Story by Clement Esparza II, Madness by Clement Esparza II, uh, Water Washes Death by Mitchell uh, V. Sl Slam, Baby Teeth by Azura Knox, and Devil in the Dark by Michelle Dolan. Okay, okay, let's see who wins best short screenplay. Okay. And the winner for best short screenplay is, or goes to, The Freezer by Martin Kitty. Congratulations. Okay, the nominees for Best Feature screen Screenplay goes to, or nominees are, sorry, I'm a bit nervous, okay, but also excited. So, Bridget McLaughlin or An Irish Ghost Story by Martin Keaty and Alan by Madeline Rose Deering and Bad Filmmaker by Kyle Wilkinson. And the winner for Best Feature Screenplay goes to Alan by Madeline Rose Deering. Congratulations! Okay. Here are the nominees for Best Trailer. Aphasia by Dran Brandon Tanchak. A Special Broadcast from Rabbit Face by Diego Olivares. La Loba by Carolina Lenlobo. Nursery Crimes Part 1, The Ominous Overture by Charles Klein, Rainy Season by Vanessa Ionta Wright, Sister Mary Murphy Vampire Slayer by Vanessa Ionta Wright, Mother's Day Cicadas by Michelle Nesk and Tonjia Atomic, and Christmas Slasher by Destiny Sonia. And the winner for Best tra Trailer is... Christmas Slasher, Destiny Soria. Congratulations. Okay, everyone, let's move on to the short films. Yes. So we're starting with the best micro short category. And the nominees for best micro short are My Man by J.J. Ehrenberg, The Perfect Woman by Aubrey E. Lorber, 58 Seconds, uh, at Night by J.J. Ehrenberg, The Stair 
by Diego Olivares, Rabbit Face by Diego, Diego Olivares, 58 Seconds Dark Side by J.J. Ehrenberg, and Mine by J.J. Ehrenberg. Okay, so the winner is Winner for Best Micro Short goes to The Perfect Woman by Aubrey E. Lorber. Congratulations! Yeah, my cat can, can have this. Okay, and the next category is Best Host in a Short Film. Nominees for Best Host goes to Vampa in An Occasion to Sin by Mara Powell. Also Vampa in Murder Pool by Mara Powell. And Vampa in Cannabis, uh, Cannibals by Mara Powell. And then we have uh, Scary Haggis Episode 1 by Johnny Shander. And then Unbind with Queen Malvolia by Steve Olander. Okay. So, best host goes to... Unbind with Queen Malvolia by Steve Olander. Congratulations. Okay. Let's move on to the best monster category. The nominees for best monster are The Midnight Snack by Andrew Gibbs, uh, Destructivo, Destructo, sorry. Uh, by Joshua Torres Valle Velasquez, uh, Quogers by Adam Tyler, The Toothless by Derek uh, Sheik, The Curse of Dexter by Kieran Johnston, Nanite by Laurie uh, McCurry and Roisin McCusker, Elope by John Duarte, The Belt by George James Frazier, 12.44 a.m. by Jose Luis Anaya, Bayou by Eduardo uh, Javier Castellano, Inside of Me by Daniel Lemusari, Spell Card by Antonio Maestroianni, The Day of the Incredible Monster from Out of State Space by Michael Polklesner. And the winner is for Best Monster in a Short Film goes to Inside of Me by Daniel Lemusari. So congratulations. And also I want to say sorry for butchering any of your names. I really try, but yeah, sometimes it can be a bit hard. So I'm really sorry about that. No disrespect. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's move on to the best music category. And the nominees are The Red Clock by Alexandra Balda, Bambolina by Kevin Joseph Nettles, Creepy Doll by Rachel Jackson, Stinky's Big Adventure by Ro Ryan J. Gilmer, The Shed by Charles Decker, Living In by Caleb Elijah, Salt and Iron by George James Fraser, and The Village Three Church of Cerberus by Isaac Lawrence. Okay, and the winner is The Shed by Charles Decker, congratulations. Okay, let's move on to Best Kill. So the nominees are Nightmare by Andrew Peters, Red by Ronald McDougall, Bloody Mary, She Has Awakened by Andretti Dante, The Belt by George James Fraser, and Bella Tomain by George James Fraser. And the winner for Best Kill is dun, 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 dun. Nightmare by Andrew Peters. Yes. Congratulations, of course. Okay, let's move on to the nominees for Best SFX. And they are Secrets of the Witch by Dixie Gears. The Color of Red by Jason Impey. Bloody Mary, She Has Awakened by Andretti Dante. 
The Hand That Feeds You by John Perry Volaris, Divine Inspiration by Brandon Tunchuk, You're Invited by Jake Jackson, Happenstance by George James Fraser, Ritual by Matthew L. Stewart, Inside of Me by Daniel Lemusai. And the winner for Best SFX goes to Inside of Me by Daniel Lemusari. Congratulations. Or as we say in Sweden, gratis. Yes. Okay. For the Best Screen King in a Short Film category, we will move on to my good friend Joachim Orbean, who will tell you who the winner is. Over to you. Hello. Welcome to my tent. I am here to announce the winner of the Scream King Award of the Sorrow of Horror Festival. And I have this little piece of discarded litter that apparently survived the fire. And it will hold the secrets to the winner to find something to pry this thing open with. Mm. Oh. Rats are no good in this matter. Shit. Oh, this'll do his nicely. <laughs> blood come from. Don't answer for a terrified and terrific performance. Good job. <laughs> oh, and here's here's the proof. Proof is in the pudding. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good night, Red. Yeah. So, good job. And take care. And good luck. And good job. That's all. And for the winner in the best screen queen category in a short film, we will move on to my friend David Dulling. Who will tell you the winner? Moving on to David. Hi everyone, I'm David, and these are the nominees for Best Screen Queen in the short film category. They are Malisha Angelic Morgan Raimi for Snake Eyes and RSMR Nightmare, Carrie Newton for Everybody Laugh at Leanne, and Vivian Koenig for Lips and Tips. And the winner for Best Screen Queen in the short film category is Malisha Angelic Morgan Raimi for Snake Eyes and RSMR Nightmare. Thank you so much for watching this festival and I hope you have a good time on here. Bye. And the winner in the best male actor in a short film category will move on to my good friend Tommy Snowberry and he will tell you who the winner is. Over to you Tommy. Hi. I'm Tommy from ActiveContext.net. I have been reviewing movies for, I guess, since the early 90s online. I have reviewed well over a thousand movies, maybe 2,000 movies on different websites I had over the years. Now I'm on YouTube. 
I have a few videos up here, not so many, but uh, I'm still learning this, this forum. Now I have the great pleasure to, to introduce the nominees for Best Male Actor in Horror Shorts in Sarah of Horrors Film Festival. And the nominees are... I need to read because I cannot remember the names. It's Hell Getting Old. Victor Raid of Wexler, Something in the Woods, Brad Bellamjin, Mano a Mano, Tom Bonington, The Maddening Walls, Michael Shanahan, Home is Where Haunt is, Kent Sledge, and finally, Cat Sick Blues, Sick Blues, Jeremiah Rosario. And I must say that that this was not so, um, it was very even, I'd say. Well, I have an envelope here, says the winner. I don't know if you can read this here. I will open this and then I will reveal the winner to you. And let's see who it is. The winner is. Victor Raider Wexler for his part in the short film It's Hell Getting Old. Congratulations and thank you for giving me this opportunity, Sarah. This has been such a pleasure. Thank you and now back to you. Okay, moving on to Best Sound. The nominees are Better Safe Than Sorry by Dylan A. Young. Veronica, Skeletons in the Closet by Dylan A. Young. The Witch by Andrew Gibbs. Good Morning by Dylan A. Young. Red by Ronald McDougall. The Challenge by Matthew Schmidt. Wanna Play a Game by Brad Case. The Julio's Last Night by Israel Arias Garcia. Insomnia by Jim Coelho. Paul Hogs the Bathroom by Alvaro Sebastian Gonzalez. Unmirrored by Leonidas uh, Stanescu. The Boho Tapes by Laurie McSherry and Rosen McCasker. Mine by Isabella Anna Karena Strickland. Woods Kayla by Jeremy Cato. Duda by Carolina Lobo. Dredge by Travis Darko, Five Days by Edith Lee uh, Davis, and Frank by Johnny Zuko. Okay, so the winner of Best Sound goes to Red by Ronald McDougall. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to Best nominees in best cin cinematography. The nominees are White Tail Lake by Dominic Vinicke, Black Eyed Girl by Dominic Vinicke, Appointment at the Vineyard by Daniel Ladon Febrel, Nightmare by Andrew Peters, Snake Eyes on ASMR Nightmare by Constantino uh, Simonello and Mitchell V. Slan. Manchino Courthouse by Chris Bauer. Scaring Sherry by George James Fraser. Um, Maza Panazus by Rodrigo Avilo Cardona. Tales from Town Z by Travis Darko. See Her by Lasse Pedersen. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Unsolved Cases by Antonio Mastroianni. Alone in the Dark by Philip Brocklehurst, The Happy Hour by Jonathan Ruggiero, Distance by Patrick Michael Rea, La Loba by Carolina Lobo, and Somber Romanza by uh, Joel Sanchez. And the winner in Best Cinematography goes to Nightmare by Andrew Peters. Congratulations! Okay, moving on to Best Experimental. 
The nominees are Video Creeper by John Shelton, Vampire by John Shelton, Shards by Jeremiah Rosario, Faust Will Always Lose by Emil Levin, There's Always an Alien in My Backyard, or There's an Alien, sorry, not always. There's an Alien in My Backyard by Johnny Shander, I Hate It When Ben Goes Away by Marcella Renee Shander, Don't Open Me by Michael McCudden, Immunity by Baldizar uh, CR, Down the Narrow Walkway by Diego Olivares, and Power Nocturnus by Brad Case. And the winner and best experimental goes to do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Shards by Jeremiah Rosario. Congratulations. Okay, so it's time for best horror comedy. And the nominees are Mole Cop by Andy Walker, Evil Head by Thomas Smith, Day of the Goobazoid by Caleb Thresher, Erecting a Monster by John Devlin, Wasted Potential by Jeremiah Rosario, Satanic Ritual Misuse by Sam Carter, Fuck Yes by George James Fraser, and Bucky by Jeffrey Gold. Okay, okay, who will it be? And the winner is... Da -da -da -da. Evil Ed by Thomas Smith. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to Best Actress in a Short Film. The nominees are The Delicious Blood You Keep in Your Veins, Esther Dope Valois, uh, Right Behind You, Emily Dalskog, House of Lexi, Emma Dark, Menage de Trois, uh, Louise Rianne Poole, uh, Method, Whitney Masters, 333 Illuminati, Deborah Lamb, the Dark World in Real Life, uh, Sally and Hunt, Murder on the A Train, Jade Cosgrove, and the Soul Catcher, Shestin Schult, Talk House. Okay. And the winner is. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. 333 Illuminati, Deborah Lamb. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to best screenplay in a short film. The nominees are It's Hell Getting Old by Patrick Rea, Lips and Tips by Christian Koch, Intruder by Adam McLaughlin, Nicholas Shedim by Lawrence Mallinson, Should We Be Doing This by Johnny Shander, Hammer by Kathleen Guevara, Distance by Patrick Michael Rea, Why Susanita Can't Go Out to Play, by Jonathan Cordova, and A Conversation with E by Isabella Anna Karena Strickland, Taylor Mitchell, and Mary Skyler Larkin. Okay, so let's see. The winner is Lips and Tips by Christian Koch. Yes. Congratulations, of course. Okay, it's time for Best Director of a Short Film. And the nominees are Playtime by Anthony Rouse, Dolos by Colleen Elizabeth Miller, It's Hell Getting Old by Patrick Rea, See Her by Lasse Peterson, uh, Mayonnaise by Anuel Morph, Immersion by Anuel Morph, Slaughter by Gwyneth Mullins, Burning Love by Tommy Nico Christemalki, and Inside of Me by Daniel Lemusai. And the winner is... <laughs> Immersion Annual Morph. Woo! Congratulations! Best director. Okay, now we're moving on to best short film overall. 
The nominees are, they're here by Ty Jones, Snake Eyes, and ASMR Nightmare by Constantino Siminicielo and Micho V. Slam, Lips and Tips by Christian Koch, A Whole Host by Alexander Vanegas, Red by uh, Ronald McDougall, Immersion by Annel Morf, and Nursery Crimes Part 1, The Ominous Overture by Charles Klein. And the winner for Best Short Film is... I belong a drummer. Immersion by Annel Morf. Huge congratulations. Okay, now we will move on to the feature film categories. And we will start with Best Experimental. The nominees are After School on Special 2, Sloppy Seconds by Andrew J. Chambers, and Ghostland by Mary Williamson. And the winner is... Ghostland by Mary Williamson. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to best music in feature film category. Nominees are Snow Blinded by Brian Locklear and Deadly Dealings by Adam Freeman. And the winner is... Oh, I had them upside down. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. And the winner is Snow Blinded by Brian Locklear. Yes. And I just have to pick this up because those are the nominees. But huge congr congratulations to Snow Blinded. Okay, here we have the category for nominees for best sound category in a feature film. The nominees are Orcas by Peter Kane, Olina Lateralis by Michelle Mesk, and Maggie Shane's Embrace the Twilight by Carlos Dunn. And the winner is. Also upside, sorry. <laughs> the winner is Olina Lateralis by Michelle Mesk. Congratulations. Okay, moving on with Best Cinematography Feature Film Category. The nominees are Spirit Animal by Madeline Rose Deering, Pink Rabbit by Zetkin Yumilkis, O Unilateralis by Michelle Mesk, Chest by Aaron Irons, and Deadly Dealings by Adam Freeman. So, the winner is... Oh, I have to hold on. The winner is Pink Rabbit by Zetkin Yemilkis. Congratulations! Moving on to Best SFX in a Feature Film. The nominees are Visions of Filth by Jason MP and Snow Blinded by Brian Locklear. And the winner is Visions of Filth by Jason Impey. Congratulations. Moving on to Best Kill. The nominees are Spirit Animal by Malin Rose Deering and Slasher by Alberto Armas. And the winner is... Spirit Animal by Madeline Rose Deering. Congratulations. Okay, so we have Best Actress in a Feature Film category. And the nominees are Olio Lateralis, Michelle Nesk, and Deadly Dealings, Roni Jonah. And the winner is... Oh, 
unilateralis Michelle Nesk. Congratulations. Okay. Moving on to Best Actor in the feature film. And the nominees are Snow Blinded, Michael Mazurkevich, and Slasher, uh, Sergio Alguacil. And the winner is... Let's see. Slasher, Sergio Alguacil. Congratulations. And I need that note. So just... Okay, I'm back. Moving on to the best screen king in the feature film category. The nominees are Rugmork, Tim Novotny, and Deadly Dealings, Adam Freeman. And the winner is... Deadly Dealings, Adam Freeman. Congratulations. And the winner of the Best Screen Queen in the Feature Film category, we will move on to my good friend, Andres Ramos, who will tell you the winner. Moving on to you, Andres. I got you there, didn't I, you boys and girls and goons? It's me, your boy, Andrews Ramos. I'm here to show you who is the best screen queen for this year. Once again, thank you, Sarah, for having me here. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right, we have two nominees. The first one is Sitkin Chikimis. I'm really sorry if I put your name. It's not meant to do that. I'm really sorry. Sitkin Chikimis played Marta in the movie Pink Rabbit. If you have not seen it, See it because I fucking love it. It's an amazing movie. The second one is Jennifer Louise in Lisa. Uh, uh, play Lisa in Animal Spirit. Who will be Marto Lisa, Sitki Jimenez, or Jennifer Louise? Who will be this year best screen cream? I have the answer right here. Do you want to know? I know, right? You don't want to know about that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do want to know. And the best. People, I don't believe it. Jennifer Louise in Spirit Animal wins the best year. Screen cream. Congratulations, you all. Congratulations. If you have you not seen the both movie, see it because the both are amazing and fun and wonderful. Mm -mm. Back to you, Sarah. And here are the nominees for Best Screenplay in a Feature Film. Spirit Animal by Madeline Rose Daring. Pink Rabbit by Zetkin Ikilmis. And The Wet Ones by Wigwolf. Okay, who will it be? And the winner is Pink Rabbit by Zetkin Yikilmis. Congratulations. Best Director in a Feature Film category. The nominees are Spirit Animal by Madeline Rose Deering, Pink Rabbit by Zetkin you kill me. Michael Myers, Absolute Evil, Rick Gavel, and Deadly Dealings, Adam Freeman. And the winner is Spirit Animal, Madeline Rose Deering. Congratulations. And this means that. This is the last category. We're at the last category. It has been fun. But the last category is Best Feature Film. And the nominees are Spirit Animal, Madeline Rose Daring, 
Pink Rabbit by Zetkin and Inokis, Michael Myers, Absolute Evil by Rick Gavel, and Deadly Dealings by Adam Freeman. And the winner is... It's Spirit Animal, Madeline Rose Deering. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, so we went through all the categories and I want to say huge congratulations to all the winners and also congratulations to all the nominees. Yeah, it was really tough picking all the winners because there are so many amazing short films, trailers, screenplays and feature films. So as I said, thank you so much for submitting them. And also, I know, you know, this is the first year I'm doing something like this. I'm, I'm hosting a festival. So, of course, I'm learning as well. Uh, so, I know what I can do better um, to next year, of course. And also, the movies that were... That I had some technical difficulties getting up on my YouTube page. You're, of course, welcome uh, to be on my YouTube page next year if you want to I promise you will be up there no problem as a special bonus feature thing no problem at all and we did send an email to everyone that got selected but we didn't get an answer to everyone from everyone so you know it might have ended up in the spam folder uh, I should have you know maybe sent out a couple of extra emails just checking if they got the first email so you know lesson learned I will definitely do better yeah so as I said I'm still learning and I'm just thankful for all of you sending in your movies and trusting me with your movies and screenplays and you know I hope you had fun I hope you kind of liked this type of format that you get to do the video interview if you want to that is up on the YouTube channel and then your movies with your permission is up on my YouTube channel for a few days and then I have this award ceremony on Halloween so yeah, and also happy Halloween, of course. I hope you're having an amazing Halloween. Yeah, and you can also follow my festival on Facebook. It's Sarah for uh, Festival, both on Facebook and on Instagram, so you don't miss our updates. Yeah, because that's where we post everything that's happening, and there could be some really important information that you otherwise might, you know, not get to read. But yeah, it has been lots of fun, and I'm already looking forward to next year. But yeah, now I definitely know what it takes, and also I will get better at the planning. I know how much time and effort I have to put into this. So yeah, I promise next year will be much smoother. But yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. And I hope that I will see you next year, and I hope you keep making movies, you keep writing. You keep creating. Please do. Please do. I want to see more from each and every one of you. So yeah, hope to see you next year. Happy Halloween. Bye.